Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I want to get a little bit more chatty with you, but instead of talking about me, I want to talk about five high-end products that didn't work for me. <sighs> I just really wanted to love them, but you can't. You can't love these products, especially for the price that you have to pay for them. Why, why, why? Okay, so just a little disclaimer. These products didn't work for me. It doesn't mean they won't work for you. If you owe some of them and you love them, I'm glad, I'm happy for you, but they just didn't work for me. And I just want to say that out loud. I also love the brands that are here, but sometimes it just happens that something doesn't work for us and these five products didn't work for me so I will share them with you just right now and here we have subculture palette I tried this palette a few times I tried to love it I really love Anastasia Beverly Hills, I love the brow products, the other eyeshadow palettes, the single eyeshadows, highlighters, but this particular palette just didn't work for me and I know that a lot of people didn't like it as well. So the palette inside looks like this, I mean I love how it looks, but unfortunately these eyeshadows are very powdery, um, there is a lot of fallout, everything is so messy, um, when I try to add a little bit more of the eyeshadow on my eyelid, the patches are coming out, I don't know, from nowhere, it's just too much mess with this palette, and to be honest, I don't really want to touch the subculture palette, because this one is just a pure powder, pure pigment, just pressed into the pan and that's it, go, go away. So this palette retails for £43, which is quite a lot of money. And seriously, there are much better palettes out there, so yeah, just, you can skip this one. Okay, the next thing I have for you is also another eyeshadow palette and hmm, this is... Sweet Peach by Too Faced. I mean, the packaging is beautiful, the palette inside looks so cute, incredible. It smells delicious, like peaches. And I have to say that these four rows are fine. These are quite nice eyeshadows, but these two rows, especially these very dark eyeshadows, are horrible. Horrible. Seriously, <sighs> okay, so let me just grab a brush um, and I want to show you how these dark colors look applied. So I'll start with this dark one and let's see, I mean guys, seriously, why this is not what I expect from the black eyeshadow. So the next one, let's give a chance this purple one also applying quite a lot there's a quite a lot of fallout very uneven very patchy not enough pigmentation just this is i think this is the most important thing just not enough pigmentation and lastly i will grab this one from the corner also quite a lot of fallout and this one should be a um, I would say dark purple with some navy reflex and purple shimmers but I think this one is more black than the middle one and this is why I don't like this palette I love the light shades but the dark ones are a big disappointment for me they have no pigmentation I mean like why? Why? If the price point would be cheaper, I might consider buying this palette, but in this case, I mean, just skip on it. I know it looks beautiful, it smells delicious, but no, 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 no. Okay, the third product that I wouldn't recommend buying is 
Jeffree Star Skin Frost. I think this one is from the Summer Chrome Collection and it's in the shade Crystal Ball. The packaging is just marvelous. It looks stunning. The palette has a huge, really nice mirror and a big piece of highlighter. I think it's, yeah, 15 grams. That's a lot of highlighter, but 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 this formula is so chunky um you just really have to work this highlighter into the skin so that you can see the glow but i just personally don't like the formula of it there's a lot of more beautiful highlighters that are easy to apply you don't have to just waste your time on doing this on your face <laughs> okay so let me grab a clean brush I will just take a little bit of this highlighter. Let me just apply it here. So, these are two swipes. You can barely see anything. And if you just will work hard through this color, I mean, you still can see. Yeah, you can see a little bit better. You can see this sheen, but still it's just wasting my time. Mm -mm. I don't like it and it also looks very powdery and very chunky. It is just a no, 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 no for me. All right, the next thing that I have for you is a Tatcha. It's called Tatcha the Water Cream. The packaging is just, I mean, it's so luxurious. It's so beautiful. I just love it, seriously. I just love the packaging of it and all of the Tatcha products. And I have to say that most of the Tatcha products work for me, but this one is just... So, this cream retails for $70. It's quite a lot of money, but unfortunately it doesn't just moisturize my skin. I mean, it works fine as a primer before my makeup, but it doesn't just work as a moisturizer, which is I don't feel a real hydration by using this product. And so, seriously, for $70, I need the hydration. $70 must provide me with the hydration and this product does not do it whatsoever. But also what I would like to mention is that I found a better replacement for this moisturizer and it is the new Glam Glow Water Burst. I just got it in the mail. I tried it two times today, only today, but I love it. So this one is a little bit cheaper than Tatcha, still quite expensive, but a little bit cheaper than this one. And it moisturizes my skin like heaven. So it says that this product is for normal to dry skin. I have to say that this moisturizer just does the work. When I used it, I felt like instant, extreme hydration. I don't even know how to explain this. It just really works well. And it's also based on water, just like the Tatcha one, but this one just does the better job. And the last product I want to share with you is this. This bad boy. Okay, so this is the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1. It says replenishing primer and setting spray. So I have to say that this one works really well as a setting spray, but as a primer it is just a mess. The foundation just falls apart. Nothing is kept together. Nothing works with this primer. I love it as a setting spray, but not as a primer. But the original version that comes in the tube, the cream formula primer, is amazing. This is my favorite um, primer. It keeps all the products together and just nicely moisturizes and preps the skin before the makeup. But this one just doesn't do it. And I am so sorry. It smells incredible works as i said before works well as a setting spray but to be honest there is a lot of setting sprays that are cheaper better and yeah that's all for example mario badescu i mean it's not a setting spray but you can do it and it works just as fine. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope I answered some of your questions. Maybe you were considering buying some of these products. So 
so maybe I just clear that out for you and let me know in the comments below if you would like to see some similar videos to this one and um, just let me know your thoughts I would love to hear that and also don't forget to give a big thumbs up to this video so I know that you want me to do more videos I would also love to know if some of the products worked for you tell me about it I would really love to know and maybe you know some kind of tricks that will help make these products better I would love to know because these products are just pricey and we don't want to just waste our money on makeup we love good makeup and if you're not subscribing me please do because I want to grow my YouTube fam I'm ready for you to click that button right now just three seconds for you one two three thank you and yeah see you in the next one bye, bye.